Hello everyone, Emily Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do it's a really nice seascape. I love seascapes at the moment, probably because I can't go to the sea at the moment. <laughs> but I, well, I can go to the sea, but I'm super busy. So I'm going to show you. It's kind of that, but it's just <clears throat> it's just a very simple sky, sea, boat, and I quite like the idea of doing a tail of a dolphin or a mermaid would look really cool. That's all you're gonna need. I'm gonna actually paint it today. So you're gonna need any colored paint. <clears throat> so you need blue, yellow, red, black and white, and then a plate or something to mix it in. And then I've got a water pot with some brushes. So yeah, let's go, let's go. Right, so you need a horizon line. So most seascapes or landscapes, or urban landscapes, whatever, um, countryside, they're gonna have a horizon line. That's where the sea, well, that's where the ground meets the sky. So in this case, the sea meets the sky. So super simple, as I suppose as straight as you can. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's not that straight. And then you have a go at doing any type of cliff <clears throat> that you will like doesn't have to be like that, it could be completely different, up to you. And then I like the idea of doing like a little mini mountain there. I say mountain, but like a little hill or a cliff. Okay, then, so easy, because this is in the foreground here, which means it's nearer to you, this is gonna be a big boulder. So if I do that, my hand is huge, isn't it, compared to my head? But if I pulled it away, then my hand becomes tiny and my, my face is obviously bigger. So anything in front of you, nearer to you, is bigger. So the rock is going to start here. And do you know what I quite like doing? Just add a few shapes on it because then it looks like the rock's not smooth, so it's a bit bumpy. And then I'm going to draw, I really like the idea of drawing a tail of a dolphin or it could be a mermaid. So I'm <clears throat> just going to do two little lines that come out of the water and we want to draw a tail. So it's a fin, fin, tail. <laughs> so we're going to go, ah, and then, ah. And you can decide how you want the tail to go because you could do a massive whale tail. It rhymes, doesn't it? <laughs> there you go. Something like that is completely fine. And but to make it look like it's in the water, I'm going to do like little ripples around. You don't have to do this, but I just, I think it looks kind of cool. Then we've got the boat. So we're going to go a line. And if the water's calm, it will be quite a straight line. But if it's choppy, so if the water's moving, you could do um, what they're called. You could do waves. So now we're going to do a boat. So just a little line up here and just travel along and do a big line up there. This is a really simple boat. It's in the silhouette of the sunset. So I think I'm drawing quite a lot of sunsets at the moment. I love them. So then we're gonna go. And then go down and then go across to join it up. So it doesn't matter if it's not exactly that, it's fine. If it's, um, sorry, I was just looking at the screen. It's fine if it doesn't do exactly that, it's fine. It could just be a simple boat if you like. So then we're gonna do the masts. Now it looks really nice to do the masts because we want them as straight as we can. So I've gotta try and do these straight. Wish me luck. Yeah, that's kind of it. You could leave it like that if you prefer, but I like to put these little ropes here. It just adds something to the picture, so you don't have to do them, but I quite like to add them. And that's it. That is the drawing. That is all you need to do for the drawing because we're going to paint the rest, which I really love. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get my palette, which is already messy, <laughs> but it's dry the paint. <clears throat> and I'm going to get <clears throat> yellow. Oh, no. I mean, I'm going to get yellow. Oh, there we are. It's just the yellow was a little bit. There's blue. I'm going to do red. 
Um, so those are your primary colours, blue, yellow, red, and then white. Um, and black. Right, Whew. overdid the black slightly, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we want to get a big brush if you've got one. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but my paper's huge, so I need quite a big brush. So I've got this type of brush. Can you see it? I hold it up to my face so you can see how big it is. But it's a square brush. So we're going to do this. We're going to think about the lightest colour first. So that's yellow. And I've decided I want to do yellow under the boat. So I'm just putting it on. I've got water on my brush and paint. So I'm just putting it on there. It's not sand, it's just the reflection of what the sky is going to be. So we're just, that's it. That's all you need to do. And then I'm going to dip it in the yellow again. And I've decided I want to do yellow here. Now, if you find it difficult to use the yellow because it's not spreading, just with a brush, dip it a bit in the water, and then you've got loads of yellow to just pull across. So I'm just gonna do it there. But do you know what? I'm gonna do some up here. Just like that. I did this picture somewhere, I can't remember where. But I'm doing like a simpler version so you can see it. Right, that is all the yellow you need to do. And then we're going to make a red. Well. I'm gonna get some red, so I rinse my brush out. You don't have to rinse it out though, but rinse your brush out, put it in the red. You've got quite a bit of water on your brush, but mine will probably drip. And you're just gonna do it on top, just like this. You want it to look like it's the sun set. So we're just gonna do, Quite a lot of water, a little bit of water. So I've just dipped it in the water now, and now it's just watery red now. So I'm just doing watery red on the paper and I'm squishing it. So I'm squishing down to create the watery red. So can you see that as I get the water on my brush and do that, even though it's dripping, the lines here of the red if I squish enough, <laughs> if I squish enough, ends up getting into almost like a, a blended look. So you can't really see where it ends and where it begins. If you can't do that, don't worry. You can just do this. You can dip your brush in the water, just get some yet red, but not too much. And then because it's watery, it will just mix in anyway. So you could do that. And if it touches the yellow, completely fine. Give this a go, because it is quite a tricky thing to do. But you know, why not try and challenge yourself? So what you could do is say to yourself, I love pink, because <laughs> I do like pink. I love you so like pink. So I'm picking up on my brush. You can make the pink on your palette, yellow, um, red and white, or I like to pick up some white and red and I'm going to make the pink. Now, don't be alarmed. I'm getting more white because the pink's not pink enough. I'm getting white because I need to make it more pinky. When it touches the yellow, don't worry, just squish it out. Just when I say squish it out, <laughs> I mean, get your brush and just go over a bit of the yellow, it's okay. You want different colours, so it's all good. And do you know what? You could even have some purpley colour. So if you can make a purple, which is blue, red, and I like putting a bit of white. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? As I said, I've got to be a bit careful because mine's held up. So it's going to drip, but yours won't. Because it'll be flat on the table. So something like that is completely fine. If it looks messy, don't worry because it's a sunset and you can go over with the chalks or you can put white dots in there. So it's a really nice kind of base coat. It's a nice beginning to the picture. Now, if you think, oh, I can't mix the colors, just rinse your brush out, quite a big brush that you don't really care about too much. Have lots of water on it and just, 
just do that with the edges. So I'm going over the edges because it makes it all blended. And as I say, don't worry if it doesn't blend completely, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Now, we want to get a bit of red because whatever's in the sky, we've got to mirror it in the sea. So I'm going to do red just here. Going to do some red. I like the idea of pink as well. So there's my red. And do you know what? The rest I think is going to be pink. So I'm going to dip up, dip uh, yellow, uh, well, and yellow, white and red all here. Keep making my pink too, too dark as well. This is quite chunky, my pink, but don't worry, go over the, the boat there. And if it's too chunky and you don't like it, put some water. It will make it a nice light colour. So you can go over the mermaidy, whatever that is, the fish, or you can go around it. If you've got a watery colour, you can easily go over it. But if you're a bit worried, then don't worry. Just, just go uh, go around it. Okay, so that's pretty much all my water. Now, if you think, oh, that you know, it's just too bright. I've got some pink left on my brush, and it's dry my brush. So I'm just gonna squish it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. If you can't do that, finish the whole picture like it is now, and then get some chalks. And then you can just colour over things. It's a really nice thing to use chalks over paint. So if you if you like the yellow, leave the yellow. Right, and then we're gonna rinse out. So you've got mostly the colours that you want at the moment, but we wanna put some white, which I've run out of. So I'm gonna get some more. White makes everything stand out against what we're gonna do, which is black. So I'm gonna get some white in my dryish brush, quite dry. And I'm just going to do white on that horizon line. Can you see the horizon line? That line there. So we're just going to do a nice white line. And as the brush runs out of white paint, just go up. If you can't do it, just try it. You don't have to get it perfect first time. Nothing has to be perfect. As long as you've learned something and you try something different, it's really nice to, to do something different, isn't it? Okay, so there is my white. If it doesn't blend in, don't worry. Just keep doing it over it if you can. Then I want to put some white in the water. So we're just going to do a little bit of white there. A little bit of white there. I'm going too fast, just pause the video. It's okay to pause it. And then I'm gonna dry the brush and then I'm just gonna squidge it. If you can't squidge it, it's blending basically, but if you can't do that, leave it as it is. It's fine as it is, it'll look really nice still. Now, what we wanna do is I wanna make a dark blue, like a bluey purple. I don't want just black, so I'm gonna do a bit of black, a bit of blue, a bit of red and you can mix it up, see what you get. So I'm gonna probably have, let's have a look. Ooh, that's a nice color. This one's like a, a purpley dark blue, I love it. So we're gonna just block those in. Block just means color everything that's white in that area. There we are, so there's that. Mmm, I like that color, it's brilliant. And then there's that. Keep on that horizon line if you can. Now it's up to you, but I quite like the boat being black. I think I'm going to do the rock, the purpley colour as well. Got to remember the mermaid or the, the fish, haven't I? Got to remember that one. <laughs> the tail. Okay, I've done it quite watery, the purple. And if you wanted to put texture in it, you could get some white and just go over or get some black and go over. Whatever shows, it will look nice for the texture. Now, I'm gonna get a small brush, small brush. Not quite sure why I sung that. But <laughs> now, 
The fish's tail can be anything you want it to be. Because we haven't done a blue water, you could do it blue, couldn't you? Oh, wow, that is the nicest blue I've seen for a long time. Okay, then you could let it dry your painting and do felt tip for the water if you prefer. I think I'm just going to draw them in with the paint and so my paintbrush. If you've done lessons with me before, my online lessons, you'll know how to do this. But if you haven't, just hold your brush straight and then you use a pointy bit, really watery. I'm just using a purpley colour. I'm just making a watery dark colour is all you need to go over that. Then we nearly there, looks awesome. I'm gonna get black. If you like this video, press the button if you can and um, subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more this week or this year. I'm doing black, so what I do is I go round it really super carefully. I've got my small brush for this one. So I'm going around it, I'm filling inside. I like it black because it shows up really light nicely. Now, as I said with this, you can just draw it in when it's dry, but I am going to have a go at, at painting it in, in the lines. And as I said, if you want to do an online class with me, look at the details below, because I'll teach you about how to do all of this. Oh. Whew. It's really fun doing that, because if you get it what you want, you just suddenly think, yay. Okay. I mean, that is literally nearly it, because all we're going to do, and when you do the sky, any colours you like, so the yellow could become green if you put a bit of blue over it, you could do a blue sky, it doesn't have to be these colours, but I want to do the reflection of the boat, so I'm going to get watery, I might get the blue, the purple that we used, you know, the purple we made for that, I'm going to get some of that, and I'm just going to draw the reflection, so if you look at that, if you draw over that like float and then float then float the tallest one is going to be obviously the tallest one there and then so you've drawn that in you won't see these lines that much and then just rinse out your brush a little bit and then just do a bit of a reflection just a little bit you don't need too much just so it looks like it's reflecting do that really couldn't you so yeah okay and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a dark color just there I'm taking the purpley bit Ooh, gotta be careful I don't want to go over the boat and I'm just gonna I'll probably be better off doing this <clears throat> with chalks at the end or something but it's just so the horizon line looks kind of cool and then do you know what I feel to do some birds Oh man, that was quite tricky. I like doing birds all together, just because they tend to, not always, but they tend to travel together. It's quite a lot of birds, isn't it? There's <laughs> one over here going, come on guys. So there is my picture. Now if I wanted to do more to it, you don't need to by the way, it look amazing as it is now, but if you wanted to do more, you could get some black paint outline just the bottom like put a line of black this is quite an adult thing to do so just <clears throat> you don't have to do this you could do it with chalk <clears throat> where you put a black line rinse out your brush dry it and you're just gonna smudge it up and if you can't do that don't worry just give it a go give it a go with chalk or I love trying new things even if it's a bit difficult it's good to give it a go so you want to blend this bit. So you could just colour the whole thing. You could get a tissue even and blot it like that with your tissue if it doesn't blend. As long as you've got, <clears throat> as long as you've got something that looks, ooh, that looks quite dark just at the bottom. And that is it. There is my, what should we call it? Sunset picture? 
got quite a few sunset pictures. Some of it, if I look at the picture there, I could blend that in a little bit more. Brush is a bit dirty, <laughs> but I could blend it in a bit more. I like the idea, you know, I've just realised of getting white on the brush and just doing some white blobs to make it look like the reflection of the light shining. You can even have a bit of white there, can you? If it's shining on the little, the little mermaidy or whatever it is. I like the clip there, the dolphin. There we are. Right, let's sign it. I like signing it with a colour that's uh, contrast. So if it's black, the outline or something, then do it in white. It's nice to paint your name as well. So there is my picture. Have a go at doing it. Let me know how you get on and I shall see you soon.